In today's video, we are going to see on how to create a quiz in Google Form. First and foremost, whenever we open a Google Form to make this a quiz, we need to activate a specific setting. For that, we will come into the settings and go into the quizzes tab, and we will simply activate the make this a quiz setting. Obviously, from there, we need to save. That being said, on this exact page, we do have a couple of extra settings that we can activate. For instance, the releasing of a grade. Meaning, do we want to allow students to immediately see their grade after each submission, or do we allow them to later on see their grade after it was manually reviewed by the owner of the quiz? Second of all, we also have what the respondents can see. Do they want to be able to see the questions they've missed, the correct answers, and how many points is each question worth? Obviously, for each of these, you need to take the box deciding what do you want to allow respondents to see. When all of that is done, we need to simply click on save. We do have a second setting that needs to be defined. And for that, we will click on the three dots more and come into the preferences. In here, you are able to set up how many points is each question worth by default. By default, it is also worth zero point. Hence, you are able to afterwards decide how many point each question is done. When all of that is done, you officially have a quiz in front of you. Now, there's a couple of things that are very important to do when you are creating your quiz. When you create a quiz, first and foremost, you need to be able to define how many points each question is worth. And at the same time, we need to select the correct answers. Last but not least, we also need to define if questions are required. First, if you want to make questions required, what you simply need to do is come here and take the required box making these questions mandatory. Second of all, if you want to set up the answer key and the point value worth for each question, you will click on the answer key. In here, at the top right corner of the box, you can define how many points the question is worth. And then you can decide which answer is the correct one by simply clicking on them. Whenever that is done, you can simply click on done. A step further, if you want to allow your students to be able to see the correct answer or to get a feedback on why this was the correct answer what you can do is click on add answer feedback and from there if you want to you can select for incorrect answers of feedback so you can either implement a video or you can implement a link same can be done for correct answers to reinforce why this was the correct answer by inserting a link and again a video and from there you simply click on save when all of this has been done for every single question, then we go to the step further, which is reviewing the answers. We will have two sections for this. The first one is the responses tab, where you are able to see a bit of the insight, meaning we are going to have a summary, then we are going to have a value by question, and then you can see individually speaking what the people have answered. Now let's go over the summary. In here, we have the insights where we can see the average, the median, and the range where we can see a bit of a graph. Further down, we also are able to see some more graph on each question that these can be copied directly into a Google Docs, hence very useful. Now, last but not least, to not have to do a copy a manual transaction from here into a Google Spreadsheet, what you can do is simply click on the Google Spreadsheet icon. When this is your first time clicking on it, you will have to create a new document. Whenever that is done, by simply clicking on it, you will be redirected automatically to said Google spreadsheet. In here, what you can find is very much a recap of the answers that you've had from your employees. What you will find is the timestamp, the email address of the employees, then the score of each employee, what is their name, and then you will be able to see the answers to the questions that they have provided you. And to go one step further, if you want to see an approximation of an insight of the results, what you can simply do is click on the scores. And from there, you can go into the Explore. And at the top, you will have the insights that you were looking for. For instance, the average, the minimum, the maximum, and giving you further information on all of this. And that is how you create a quiz on Google Form. Thank you very much. Have a good day.